Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, something of interest to uh, anybody restoring old radios or uh, that owns old radios. I've been busy um, doing some more printing. So there's a few bits here on the bench. Um, first of all these. I don't know if any of you have um, seen the old uh, PP9 battery clips that you get with a lot of the old radios. Um, have yourself very well there because I did have, have one handy but um, yeah, basically these uh, these hang out at the back of the radio and um, the wires are connected up to battery terminals um, they're cardboard and they break for a pastime um, it's not well there, there is quite a few that aren't broke where people have been careful but if you get out of one clip and pull it off it breaks so I've made these the exact same dimensions, slightly beefier, so probably about 0.2 of a millimetre uh, thicker. But uh, yeah, I've already fitted one of those to a customer's radio, and uh, as I said before, it was horrific. The other thing, Sovereign, Sovereign um, Mark 1s, and some of the other radios have got these little um, tone controls in them. Which again, if you over tighten them in there, it actually breaks the plastic and they snap. Now, there's not very many of these that aren't snapped. Um, you can glue them very carefully, glue them and just nick that one up, but it's not very robust. So, I've made these, which are exactly the same, exactly the same dimensions, but actually solid, totally solid so much much stronger um, the little nut and grub screw fits in there they fit on the shaft nice and central and you just pop your old top off um, really all you do is soak that in some really hot water leave it in there for a few hours and these will just peel off as long as no one's super glued them back on so that's one thing let's get them out of the way more importantly this is what I've been working on for a while um, those of you that saw my previous video on the PP7 battery, I did um, say that I was going to be working on a PP9. Well, I've got it. It's done. Um, bit of messing about, bit of prototyping. Uh, this is my sort of final prototype for this. Um, you say it's not particularly well finished, but um, this is PLA, which I mistakenly ordered instead of ABS, but uh, still it's really strong. No issues with this. So there's various ways when you've got a bigger case of getting 9 volts out. On the PP7, as you notice, I had three um, battery terminals. This one I've only got two. And the reason for that, I mean, I could put three in there. But there's a few options you've got here. The first option I thought of was this. So this is two battery packs, each with six batteries in them. And you'll notice that they fit smack bang in there very, very snugly. So if I connect both of them up in series, I've got still got my 9 volts, but I've got much more capacity. So they last a lot longer. I mean, it's a lumpy old battery as well. So you notice I've got a long lead and a short lead on this. The reason for that is one goes that way and the other goes that way. The lid, as per the previous ones, snaps on. Let's check the voltage and zoom out a little bit. Oh, this is right, I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> right, let's try the voltage. I've also this time marked on which is positive and negative on the case there. Look, so that's um, that's something I didn't do on the other ones. So there we are, a nine point six, nine point six nine volts. And if I put another PP nine up against it, <laughs> it is identical dimensions if not very slightly smaller because it's uh, a little bit of a squeeze in some of the older radios 
Um, so yeah, that's one option. But there's a couple more options. A lot of people have said rechargeables. Okay, let's put them to one side. So, NICADs, 9H batteries. 1.2 volts each. If you have eight of them, that gives you your 9.6. I mean, you can you can stick some pretty high capacity, like 2,500 milliamp hour batteries in there, and uh, that will give you really good capacity. So I thought, well, I need to make up something for that. So I could just chuck them in, but they'll rattle all over the place. So what I did was um, I've got my logo in the bottom of there. You probably can't see it in this light, but um, I made up a little spacer, so that slots in, like that. In goes your battery pack with eight batteries in. Nice neat fit. You only need one cable, snap on. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna work better with this, particularly the way I put it in. And that, because there's room under the lid, just snaps back in, he says, with it in the wrong place. Get back over there. There you are. So you now have... I mean, this is going to measure more because I've not got NICADs in there. I've got uh, normal. So you've got to be careful because that is literally is... 12 volts <laughs> so uh, if you've got a 12 volt battery but yeah this uh, it's only a demonstration showing it with the batteries in so that's that option and of course the other option you've got is you can stick PP9s in it as well PP3s even PP9s I haven't made a spacer for them yet but um in they go. Back with a voltage. 9.5 volts. So there, that will sort it out. I mean what I what I can do with this, I can make up another spacer for PP9s. Just to uh, slide in there, stop them rattling about a bit. But uh, it, initially it was intended for um, the double A size batteries. So that is a goer. That is ready to um, stick on my store. Um, let's say that's probably the solution that people will go with. Buy yourself um, some NICADs or NIME H is better. Nickel metal hydrate, hydrate and um, eight of those. You've got yourself a powerful cell. Again, if you've got a lot, a lot of these uh, sets take two batteries. So. There you are. So they are available. I'm going to stick that on my website. I'm going to take a couple pictures and pop them on there. Um, I have got some ABS come in again, which is slightly stronger than the PLA. Although this does feel really strong, actually. But, uh, yeah, there we are. So if you like that, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, um, like, subscribe, and uh, check the website out and my Patreon page. And uh, catch you again soon. Bye for now.